ITO Ayuri NG Tolad NG Isang Podcast. So, mm, big news this morning. Apparently, there's supposed to be a winter storm coming. Yes, a winter storm in April, which is really weird. It's supposed to start tonight, okay, so Tuesday night, and last until Thursday morning. Now, I've got the details here. Uh, An incoming Colorado low will spread a significant swath of spring snow and whipping winds that could lead to a to blizzard conditions across parts of southern Manitoba and northern Ontario. Snow will arrive Tuesday evening, that's right about now, and spread across the region through Thursday. Doesn't say what time on Thursday. Strong winds will lead to reduced visibility and blizzard conditions for some through this event. Avoid non-essential travel if possible. A heavy swath of freezing rain is also forecast across central and eastern Ontario, including the Ottawa Valley, with the greatest impact Tuesday night through Wednesday. Prepare for some road closures and power outages. Read the article linked below for from more details on timing and impact. I think it means four more details on timing and impacts. <coughs> but anyway, this was a screenshot that was sent to me, so I can't I can't click on that. But I can go on my phone and pull it up through my weather app. Oh, look at that. There's way more details on my phone. Hmm. A significant late season Colorado low will impact southern Manitoba, bringing 15 to 25 centimeters of heavy snow strong winds and visibility reductions due to blowing snow. Heavy snow has begun to push into extreme southern Manitoba and will slowly push northwards through the evening and overnight hours. The greatest accumulations will fall over the extreme southern portions of the province with totals on the order of 20 to 25 centimeters of snow. Storm total accumulations will decrease to the west and northwest, with the Red River Valley seeing 10 to 15 centimeters of snow, and western Manitoba looking at storm totals of 5 to 10 centimeters. Of additional concern for the Red River Valley and uh, southwestern Manitoba, winds will begin to gust up to 70 kilometers per hour and visibilities will rapidly decrease in blowing snow late overnight on Tuesday into Wednesday afternoon. Southern portions of Lake Manitoba and along the Red River Escarpment may see particularly poor conditions with strong northerly winds funneling along the geography and may warrant an upgrade to a blizzard warning. Conditions will improve through the day on Thursday as the Colorado low pulls out of the region to the east and a ridge of high pressure builds from the west. Visibility may be suddenly reduced at times in heavy snow. Winter storm warnings are issued when multiple types of severe winter weather are expected to occur together. Please continue to monitor alerts alerts, and forecasts issued by Environment Canada. To report severe weather, send an email to mbstorm at ec.gc.ca or tweet reports using hashtag mbstorm. Recommended action. 
Consider postponing non-essential travel until conditions improve. Prepare for quickly changing and deteriorating travel conditions. Public Safety Canada encourages everyone to make an emergency plan and get an emergency kit with drinking water, food, medicine, and a first aid kit and a flashlight. Wow. All right. That's crazy. Woo. Storm Center. Widespread winter warnings in effect for an April sto snowstorm that threatens 20 plus centimeters and significant ice accretion. Ice storm risk versus heavy snow. It's on the table for Central Canada. Okay, so I read all that. Blah, blah, blah. <clears throat> do, 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 do. But it's relatively warm, right? It's only like minus five would be the, the lowest so far, like this evening anyway. It's minus two right now, feels like minus nine, and it's overcast. So it's getting there. It's not quite blizzard conditions, but it is getting there right now. So if you live in the Colorado, Manitoba, Ontario region, like anywhere, Colorado, Manitoba, or Ontario, be warned. Don't go anywhere until Thursday, until all this stuff is cleared up, so you can avoid getting caught in a blizzard, right? So, yeah. So, yeah, it's like a winter storm in April, which is really weird and really different. Um, it's, it's rare. It's rare. Now, where is Colorado? Ba, 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 ba. Okay. So let's see here. You know, that's the weird thing right there is that Colorado is under Saskatchewan on the map. Right? Right? So here we go. This square right here is Colorado. <laughs> And you go directly up, it's Saskatchewan, right? This is where I am right here in Winnipeg. Get that out of the way. Right, so it's going from Colorado up here to Manitoba and then over to Ontario. So it's like, so it's going through Colorado, Nebraska, South Dakota, North Dakota, and then Manitoba into Ontario. So it's going, whoop. And that's weird right there in itself. Right? Hmm. So yeah, so that's crazy right there. Boom. Anyway, just had to do that. Uh, Colorado, Nebraska, South Dakota, North Dakota, Winnipeg, and... And... Ba -ba -da -ba -da, Ontario. That's big. But it's like northern Ontario, so it's up here more. But yeah, so that covers a lot of places, right? Colorado, boop, 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 boop. 
Nebraska, South Dakota, North Dakota, Winnipeg, Northern Manitoba, or no, it's Southern Manitoba and Northern Ontario, right, which is up here. And so it's going on an arc. Wow. And it might get a little bit of Wyoming. So anybody that lives in Wyoming, a little corner here of, uh, of Wyoming, watch out. Be careful. Be warned. And Pine Ridge Reservation. Stay away from that area. Just because it's in the... South Dakota, North Dakota. Bum, 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 bum. So anyway, that's it. That is it. That is the weather report for today. And hopefully you can avoid this whole thing and you'll be safe until Thursday. So on my Friday video... Yep, the Fortnite Friday video that I upload this week, I want you to comment on that and let me know that you were safe during this blizzard thing and that you weren't anywhere near it and you totally avoided it and that you're safe. That's the important thing. That's what I want for all of my viewers because I consider my viewers my friends and I like to make sure that my friends are okay so please on Friday let me know that you totally avoided this entire blizzard thing and yeah I mean by the time this is uploaded it'll be a little too late it'll be already started a bit so whatever I mean if you're up in Manitoba and Ontario you know hopefully it hasn't gotten there yet so yeah see and that's the thing too I mean it says that it's starting this evening right so it'll start in Colorado and go up Wyoming a little bit in Wyoming maybe Nebraska South Dakota North Dakota Manitoba and Ontario so if you live anywhere near that it might even hit Minnesota you never know right because if you look here Minnesota is right here between be, beside South and North Dakota right so it could come up here boom you know go into Minnesota but who knows how wide this thing will be right so even if you live in minnesota or a little bit of iowa there just be careful that's all i ask just be careful kansas city look at that even in missouri you got to be careful with everything all right so anyway i don't know what i'm doing here get rid of that kansas city New York City. No, New York City is way over here somewhere. Right there. That's New York. New York. It's partly cloudy. My, uh, partly cloudy, 17 degrees Celsius. It's 8.22 p.m. there. So, yeah. New York. Okay. All right, so Winnipeg right now it shows here minus two degrees Celsius. Snow showers. Ooh, I'm going to run outside and I'm going to check that. But anyway, I'm going to go and hopefully you can avoid all of this because I'm warning you right now. And hopefully this gets to you in time if you live in those areas. So, yeah. Ah. Uh, expect to hear from you on Friday 
letting me know that you're safe. <laughs>